So I wanted to replace the existing kitchen cabinet doors with a more modern shaker style door. And I wanted to make it as easy as possible to assemble the doors. What I was planning on doing was using half inch Baltic birch plywood for the cabinet doors and dressing it up with a two inch border made from a quarter inch plywood. I started by ripping the half inch plywood to the exact width of each cabinet door. Then I cross cut them on the miter saw. Then I used some quarter inch Baltic birch and rip them down to 2 and 1 8 inch wide strips to use as the border. Just a bit oversized so that they can be trimmed later. Once all my pieces were cut, I glued the border in place onto the half inch plywood. Since these were going to be stained black, I wanted to avoid any squeeze out that would prevent the stain from penetrating the wood. So when I spread the glue, I left about a quarter inch from the inside edge bare to prevent glue squeeze out on the front face of the cabinet. When I glued the border in place, I made sure it protruded from the cabinet door by about one eighth of an inch all around the perimeter of the door so that I can come back with a flush trim router bit and trim off the excess. I used clamps around the perimeter to hold everything in place while the glue dried. Once all the glue dried, I brought it over to the router table and trimmed off the excess border. This left a really clean edge. After a quick sanding of all the faces and edges with 120 grit sandpaper, I brought it back to the router table and added a very small 45 degree chamfer to the front and back edges. This will prevent any chipping or splintering of the edges. Once all the cabinet doors were done, I applied an ebony stain to all the pieces using a lint-free cloth and made sure to get stain in each corner of the front face. To finish them, I applied four coats of wipe on polyurethane. I applied the first two coats with a foam brush, then wiped off the excess with a clean rag. After the second coat was dry, I sanded each surface with 400 grit sandpaper by hand, then applied a light third coat with a rag. After the third coat was dry, I sanded with 1000 grit sandpaper before applying the fourth and final coat.
Once the fourth coat was dry, I went over it with extra fine steel wool just to get an even sheen all over the entire piece. Once they were all done, I can install them in the kitchen. The old cabinet doors were flat MDF panels with built-in finger grooves. I removed all the old cabinet doors, replaced all the hinges, installed the new doors and added new knobs on all the doors and drawers. A small project like this can really change the look of your kitchen. If you like this project, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.